guys! Nina here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will answer the most asked question on my YouTube channel and that's how I film and edit my videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Ayan, so anyway guys, as you can see at the background, ito yung room ko. So as of now, hindi pa rin siya natatapos. I'm still waiting for my sofa para ma-film ko yung room tour ko. Pero uh, ayan, yung uh, just a glimpse of how it looks like. So that's my bed. I also have my bookshelves here. Tapos yung uh, picture ko. Tapos I also have here, move down then. Ayan, meron akong side table and then meron din tree dyan. Pero, I will just do a detailed room tour later on pag kompleto na yung mga gamit ko. Pero, I'm just happy kasi nakabit na yung ilaw ng vanity mirror ko. Kaya, medyo mas okay yung lighting ko right now. And, ayun, let's proceed with my video. So, uh, like I mentioned kanina, I will share to you how I film and edit my video. So, I will do a detailed discussion about how I film and edit my videos kasi almost lahat ng videos na ginawa ko sa YouTube channel ko um, meron at merong nagtatanong kung paano ko siya ina-edit. Ina so this will answer all your questions. So, um, let's start with number one, how I film my videos. How I film my videos, simple lang. I only have three important things or gadgets na ginagamit when I film my videos. First, syempre, is yung phone na ginagamit ko. Kasi I'm just using my phone in filming. So, if you're just a beginner, so you can just use your smartphone or phones. Any, any phone na okay yung camera, it can work na kasi... Right now, ang gaganda na ng mga cameras ng mga phones. So, ayun. As for me, I'm using my iPhone SE to film. So, ayun. That's the first uh, thing that I use when I film my videos. Second is yung aking tripod. So, yun. Maganda kasi na may tripod ka to keep it stable. At saka para ma-mount mo siya. So, wherever you film, kung saan lugar man siya sa room mo or saan lugar man siya sa, uh, sa bahay niyo, ganyan, mas madali. Third is the light. Sobrang importante ng light. First, syempre, you should have a natural light. Sa akin kasi closed yung room ko. So, I just make sure na maraming sources of light or maliwanag talaga siya. And aside from the light that I get from my room, meron din akong light na nakaharap sa akin right now just to achieve that better quality when it comes to videos. So, yun yung three things that I use to film my videos. For my camera, ang ginagamit ko yung Lear Cam niya. So, Right now, hindi ko kasi mapapakita, pero ngayon is nakaharap sa akin yung phone ko at saka yung rear cam niya, yung ginagamit ko. Tapos, I just have a mirror in front of me para makita ko siya. Kasi mas okay yung quality when you use the rear cam. You can also use naman the front cam kasi when I do vlogs, yung front cam yung ginagamit ko. Pero, um, mas okay din kasi yung quality kapag yung rear cam yung gamit. Let's now proceed with how I edit my video. So, there are a couple of apps that I use. So, basically, when I edit, I still use my phone. So, very helpful talaga sa akin ng phone ko kasi everything that I do for my YouTube channel, sa so phone ko lang siya ginagawa. Yung first na video editing app that I use is yung iMovie. It's, uh, it's only available for iPhone or Mac, MacBook. So, any Apple Apple gadget. So, yun available yung iMovie. Pero if you are using Android phone, could use Filmora Go kasi yun din yung isa sa mga ginagamit kong apps. Nagustuhan ko dun sa mga apps na yun is that wala siyang watermark kasi I really get a bit conscious kapag merong watermark. Wala lang. Parang feel ko kasi pag nag nanonood ako ng video, parang ayoko na may watermark siya. So, ayun. Pero you can try other apps naman. Pero for me, yun yung ginagamit ko. So, yun. Papakita ko kung paano ko ginagamit yung iMovie, yung Filmora Go. So, right now, I'm gonna do a screen record of how I use the apps. So, dito sa video editors ko, I have different apps. Pero yung first na ipapakita ko is how I use iMovie. Yan. So, ang gagawin mo lang is um, under projects, you just add the tip. So, you will just click movie so that you can create. And then, ang gagawin ko is I will just add the videos na finilm ko and then I will create movie there. So, what I like with iMovie is that sobrang user-friendly ng interface niya. Ang dali niyang gamitin. So, um, I'm also gonna add, I'm just gonna click 
itong plus dito. And dito pwede ka mag-add ng videos, photos, audio, or voiceover. Pero ang i-add ko is yung intro ng videos ko. And this is it. Tapos i-add mo siya. There. So, yan. Magpa-play muna siya. There. Tapos, saka yung videos ko. When you click the video that you want to edit, may mga options na nakalagay. So, first is yung parang scissor na nakikita. So, under the scissor, ang makikita mo is either you can, you can split a video. So, mahahati siya. You can detach a video. Ibig sabihin, hihiwalay yung yung sound niya. Um, you can also duplicate. Ibig sabihin, makakapi siya. Or, you can also delete that certain video. So, yun yung under sa scissor. So, yung next option naman, yung parang timer, you can choose if you want to make it faster. So, i-move mo lang siya to the right para mas maging mabilis siya. There. O kaya naman, pwede mo siyang bagalan. So, yan. Slow motion siya. There. And you can also freeze it. Ibig sabihin, mag stop siya. So, just to show you. Yan. So, titigil siya. Yun yung freeze option niya. So, yung next naman, yung parang volume. Diyan mo na-adjust yung volume niya. So, pwede mo siyang lakasan. Pwede mo siyang hinaan. There. And then, here sa text naman, ito yung mga iba't ibang options when you're gonna add text. So, meron siyang iba't ibang transitions, iba't ibang animations, and you can choose kung center and lower. Yung concern ko lang with iMovie is hindi mo pwedeng i-move kung saan nakalagay yung text. So, it's just um, may dalawang option lang siya sa center or sa lower part. Yeah. For example, ito, lalagyan ko siya ng text. So, favorite ko dito is itong pop-up kasi ito yung pinakamalaki. So, lalagyan natin siya niyan and then if we play it there. Or, pwede mo naman siyang ilagay sa lower. Just click lower para sa baba siya mag-appear. There. So, yun yung option ng mga text. And then, it yung last naman, yung parang may three circles, yun yung iba't ibang mga filter. Yan. So, you can choose different filters here. But, I rarely use this. Usually, ginagamit ko siya for um, kapag may mga bloopers ako. There. So, yun. And then, pwede mo ding i-click itong magnifying glass sa taas if you want to zoom in. There. Pwede mo siyang i-zoom in. Yan. So, that's basically how I use this app. I really like it kasi sobrang daling mag-cut ng videos dito. Mag-cut, edit, mag-add ng, ng, ng text. Kapag tinatamad na akong gumamit ng ibang mga apps, ito na lang talaga yung ginagamit ko. So, there. When you're done, you can click this one in the middle. Tapos, you just have to save the video. And then, pwede kang mamili ng option kung anong size. Yun yung gusto ko with iMovie. Hindi na lower yung quality niya. So, yun. We're done with iMovie. Next naman na ipapakita ko is how I use Filmora Go. So, how I use Filmora Go. Ayan. You can just create a new video. So, gagawin ko is I will just add some videos here. Pero here you can you can crop yung film, yung video na i-add mo. And then you just click add. Yun din yung mahirap dito kasi isa-isa mong i-add yung video. Yan. Although, ang maganda naman sa Filmora, mas marami kang pwedeng gawin. For example, may mga iba't ibang teams siya. Yan. So, merong 80s team, may fashion team. My chaplain, have love, have concert, children, mirror. <laughs> That's kind of weird though. And so, yun, ibat ibang themes. So, meron din dito music if you want to add the music. And then, meron din transitions. Gustong gusto ko yung mga transitions ng film or ago. 
kasi sobrang cool niya. So, ito iba't ibang transitions. Ayan. Ayan, diba? Sobrang cool na mga transitions niya. Kaya pag usually nagsaswatch ako, ganun, dito ako nag edit Pwede mong gawin is yung ratio crop. Ayan, pwede mo siyang i-cut yung video mo. Pwede mo siyang i-zoom in. Pwede mo siyang i-black or i-blur. Ganyan. Pero okay na yan kasi yan yung size ng video sa YouTube. Tapos, may mga editing tools din. So, may voiceover din siya. Yung subtitle nito, gusto ko kasi namumove mo yung text. Kaya, usually, ginagamit ko lang to just to add text on my video. Tapos, maganda din yung mga mga animation. Like, for example, pakita ko sa inyo. There. Hello, Sofnina. So, okay din yung fonts nito. Ayan. So, may mga maraming din choices sa mga fonts. Ayan. So, for example, here. Tapos, ito, iba't ibang. There. Iba't ibang filter. Iba't ibang animation ng text. So, yun. Marami kayong pwedeng pagpilian. And then, yung pip naman is if you want to add a layer. Uh, for example, photo. Say, for example, sige. Lagyan natin tong photo na to. So, pwede ka maglagay ng photo dito. Ayan. Diba? Super cool. Ayan. Tapos, meron ding audio mixer. May filters. Sa filters, maraming filters din na pwede mong pagpilian. And then, um, may mga overlays din. Ito mga iba't ibang effects. Ayan. May mga bokey, film, chaplain, fashion, and 80s. Ayan, super cool. So, ayan. And then, pwede ka rin mag-add ng titles dito. Ayan. So, parang ito din yung mga nakalagay sa ano eh. Sa mga templates. And then, dito din. Yung speed, pwede mo i-adjust dito. Pwede mo siyang bagalan or bilisan. And pwede mo i-rotate. Yung iyong video. Tapos, pwede mo din i-adjust. Ito din yung isa sa gusto ko dito kasi ma-adjust mo yung light. For example, gusto mo siyang i-brighten. There. Yan. Tapos, kung gusto mong ma-saturated yung video, pwede din. There. Or, yung temperature. If you want it warm or if you want it cool. And, yung sharpness. Yan. Pwede mo siyang i-sharpen. And if you want this, Vinay. There. Ayan. So, ito din yung isa sa gusto ko dito sa Filmorago. And then, when you're done, just gonna click OK and then save it. And then, may export na siya. Although, ito kasi, mas lower yung quality niya. So, guys, baka pala pag magtanong kayo how I edit my thumbnail sa mga YouTube videos ko. I will just do a separate video for that para maipakita ko din sa inyo in detail kung paano ko siya ginagawa. Basically, how I film, how I edit. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, just give me a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!